I'm Jeff with Pike Fitness, and I'm going to be showing you how to adjust the length of a TRX or suspension trainer. So we have four lengths with the suspension trainer. Short, mid-length, mid-calf, and long. And they all have their purpose. In order to adjust to the short position or shorter, you're going to pinch the cam buckle and pull the adjustment tab here, however high up you need to go, one at a time. So pinch the cam buckle, pull the tab. In order to lengthen them, you can do that at the same time. So pinch both cam buckles, pull, all right? So starting with the short position, I'll show you what this is good for. This is good for facing towards the anchor point, doing movements such as rows or bicep curls, things where we're not needing to have room for the body to get between, and I'll show you that in a moment. We can also get underneath the anchor point fully for really heavy rows. If this was longer, you would probably hit the ground. So, short. Mid-length is kind of like a all-around position. You can face towards or away from the anchor. Um, it's good for if you're going between them kind of constantly in circuits or other exercises uh, where you're going back and forth. Mid-calf is gonna be for where you put your feet into the straps for exercises such as pike, mountain climbers, pendulum crunch, exercises like that. You can also get your heels in in mid calf length again for hamstring curls, hamstring runners, and any other movement that you may need your heels in the foot um, stirrups for. And then lastly, we have the long position. And this is really good for facing away from the anchor point. So movements like the press or the tricep extension, lat rollout, and chest fly will be good in the longest most position. This also allows you to get into very heavy angles Whereas if it was short, you wouldn't be able to get so close to the ground. So those are the four strap lengths for this suspension trainer. I hope this helps.